Hello and welcome. If you came here looking for a good time, you came to the right place. I'm very excited to be filming for many reasons. <laughs> I can never talk when I first turn on the camera. You just don't usually know that because I edit it all out. Lately, I have just been very bored of myself, very bored of how I look. You know, last year, as we all know, I dyed my hair a different color pretty much every two months. And then I decided to stop and give my hair a break and let it get healthy. And I lost my outlet of like changing the way I look so I don't get bored. And I knew that was gonna happen, but now I'm just at a point where I'm so comfortable with having blonde hair that I'm too scared to do anything else. And I don't really have a desire to dye any fun colors anymore because I already did that. But I'm just sick of the way that I look. And I think that's normal. We all get like that don't we? Sometimes I just want to look in the mirror and not recognize myself. And that's how I used to feel when I would dye my hair. And now I don't have that. I've just looked the exact same for the last year, basically. I've been blonde for like a year now. Ugh. I'm bored. I want to see what I look like when I switch things up a little bit. Basically, I've been spending a lot of time on TikTok and my For You page is pretty much just cats, food, like witch stuff. It was Harry Potter, not so much anymore. Occasionally there's like an attractive boy and a lot of pretty girls. <laughs> there's just so many different type of aesthetics that I've been seeing and I wanna be them all. So today I am. I'm going to be doing the four most popular aesthetics that I've been seeing online, at least from my perspective, just from what I see. You know, I don't know what you're seeing, but you're seeing what I'm seeing today, so. Before we get into the video, I want to give you guys a little life update because I feel like a lot has happened in my life since I last posted. So if you don't care, just feel free to skip ahead. But if you do care about me as a person at all, uh, you can just listen. This still feels so weird to say out loud, but about two weeks ago, Salem, my little black cat, she passed away and it was a very hard thing to go through and it still is and I just wouldn't feel right not talking about it in a video because she was in so many of my videos and a lot of you know how much I loved her. Ruby, not the time. And she was, Ruby's literally attacking my leg. Stop it! She was my little soulmate and she was with me through every hard thing that I'd ever been through in my life and she was kind of like my emotional support animal for literally my entire life, like up until I moved out about five months ago. It's just very sad and weird losing something that you love, but I'm really doing fine. Uh, I feel like if I was living at home, it would be way, way harder on me because when I lived at home, I was just very, very emotionally dependent on Salem, which sounds so weird she's just a cat but like I know those of you who have pets who have like anxiety or any type of mental or physical illness you can relate because animals are like these just they're just it's just you know what I mean <laughs> words I don't know how to use them and my mom also rescued two little kittens we are a family of cat ladies so yeah that happened on top of that this last month I've been dealing with some health issues I've mentioned this briefly in my videos but I just don't love talking about it so I never go in depth but I have a chronic illness and that sounds so serious when I say it like it is serious but like I'm not dying <laughs> this is why I don't talk about it I feel like that made it sound even worse but basically sometimes it just flares up really badly and causes me to be in a lot of pain I'm really okay <laughs> with those two things combined it's just been a little bit difficult to film I actually tried twice to vlog in the last two weeks when I was in the midst of coping with Salem's death and it just didn't <laughs> oh fuck go well but I'm back now and I'm feeling very much ready to film so there's my little life update let's get into the video now as you can tell my hair actually you probably can't even tell I did my hair a little bit differently today because the first aesthetic we are going to be putting on my body trying out is the cottagecore aesthetic Basically, when I think of cottagecore, I just picture a girl living in a cottage who like is surrounded by fields of flowers and gardens and she just wears these beautiful dresses and like tends to her garden and bakes cute little goodies. I don't know. It's who I want to be in life. I'm going to put on the outfit I've prepared for this. We're just going to get into it. We're going to get into it. First, I have this pretty dress. It's from Reformation. I've had it for a while now. The only way you could wear this is if you were running around in a field, which I have done in this dress. It's a very beautiful dress. This is a very simple one. I wanted to start off with the simple, sim 
simpler ones. Lastly, to complete the look, we have a basket of flowers. <laughs> I love this. Here is the cottage core aesthetic look. And now we will get a little cottage core montage. obviously kind of boring like this is something I would normally wear next up I am going to do dark acad academia is it academia I know it's not academia but that's what I want to say it reminds me of the character in a book that's like really smart and also really hot and also really mean but like really nice <laughs> You know that one? I found this picture that had some outfits put together and it says, choose your fighter, dark academia edition. And it's just these like outfits that look like they would be worn by very sophisticated, very chic, very smart people. And I wanna be that, I wanna be all those things. So I went for the middle one, which is Vivian. Vivian is apparently obsessed with Greek mythology, only uses black pens, loves to debate, never wears bright colors, owns and writes in five journals at once. She's a Slytherin, a Scorpino, a Scorpino? <laughs> what? A Scorpio and an INTJ. I am an INFP, close enough. I'm not gonna lie, my outfit kind of looks nothing like that. I'm just gonna put on the outfit and we're gonna see. We have this little gray plaid skirt, black turtleneck. This really reminds me of my niche memes video where I dressed up as, what was it, winter as a person? And as you can see, they're two different colors, but we're gonna pretend that they're not. I'm gonna roll these sleeves up. Does that look better rolled up? I don't know. <laughs> I have no gauge of what looks good anymore. Then we have have some glasses. I didn't see this in the picture, but it just felt right. Now for the hair. Okay, don't lie. I look smart right now. You know what? I'm gonna bust it out. It seems only fair. <laughs> Pride and Prejudice. Um, this is just slowly becoming my niche memes video, but I'm okay with that. Um, hi, my name is Vivian. I am an English lit major and also I'm in law school and I also fucked your dad last night. <laughs> I feel like I should do something to my hair. I wish I had like fake bangs, but I couldn't find fake bangs that would match my hair color. I like it. Why do I dress the way that I do when like so much cooler things exist? I kind of love this blazer turtleneck combo. Like if I saw a girl wearing this, I would be attracted to her. The skirt does not match. I also kind of hate it. So you know what? We're just gonna button this and it can be like a, a no pants moment. Now it looks like I'm not wearing pants. Ooh, I like that a lot. What if you saw me in the park like this? What would you do? Oh, I'm sorry I couldn't hear you. I was reading and studying for my LSAT. This is such an aesthetic shot. Watch, this is gonna be going viral on Pinterest in the next month. Pinterest viral. Oh my god, my friend Scarlett literally just said dark academia. That's literally the aesthetic. Guess I nailed it. I don't want to take it off, guys. I don't want to take it off. Video's over. Bye. Ugh, I look like I know big words. And I don't. I can hear Ruby playing with my Christmas tree ornaments. Yes, I put a Christmas tree up at the beginning of November. I don't care. There's no rules this year. And she goes inside of the tree, knocks the ornaments off, and bats them around my entire apartment. So it's her world. I'm just living in it. Shall we do a little dark academia montage? I think so. I know I haven't done all of them yet, but if I had to choose one to make my new style out of this video, it would be this one because I feel confident, I feel smart, I feel powerful. I don't necessarily feel like myself, but I think that's why I like it, which makes me sound like I hate myself and I don't. I don't know. There's just something about dressing how you would never think to dress. That's just very liberating. Very liberating indeed. Okay, moving on. Okay, next we have another, another fairly boring one, but what can you do? Whatever. Yeah. I actually don't know what to call this aesthetic. I don't even know if there's a name for it, but I call it TikTok girl aesthetic. I also see it a lot on Pinterest and like my Instagram explore page. I literally don't know what to call it. Like I, at first I was calling it Pinterest girl. I know it's not visco girl because visco girls were like 
What do Visker girls even wear? I don't know. I literally don't know. Also, please don't get mad at me if you rock any of these aesthetics and you feel like I'm getting something wrong. I'm just going off of what I know. I just see it so much. Basically, it's that school uniform type of vibe where like girls wear tennis skirts, a collared shirt with a crew neck over top of it. And then I always see them wearing like gold hoops and their hair clipped back. I think it's so cute. I think whoever is rocking it, they always look so cute and it just really reminds me of a school uniform, but in like a cute way. I literally feel like I'm about to go to private school. This aesthetic to me feels kind of young. I got a little skirt. I look like I'm about to go play tennis with my rich dad. I guess that's it. Private school girl aesthetic. <laughs> But very, very simple as well. I felt like I had to throw it in because it is a popular one. I don't even know, is this an aesthetic or is it a style? Or is that the same thing? I feel like if I say I don't know what I'm talking about enough times, people will just understand that you just don't correct me. But I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows anything? about anything. So yeah, my verdict on this one is cute on other people makes me feel like I'm going to private school. It's raining outside and watching the raindrops slide on the window is very distracting. Let's do a quick little montage with this one because I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, yeah. Done. It is officially time for the main event. It is time to do the e-girl aesthetic. The e-girl aesthetic has sweeped the nation. Swept the nation? Girls who rock this aesthetic often have some beautiful, amazing dyed hair, some hypnotizing, well done makeup. <laughs> I should be a writer. And you just look like a video game character and I think that is just very cool. I am gonna go all out. I'm just gonna go do my makeup first off camera because it's probably gonna take me a while. And then we're gonna come back and do everything else together. I'll see you when I have my makeup done. Here it is. Uh, I hope I'm making e-girls proud. Choke me like you hate me. I wish I was friends with Corpse so I could use his e-girl song for my montage. Next we have a choker which is more like a collar. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Actually genuinely being choked right now. Next is the fun part. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it with my blonde hair right now, but doesn't matter what I like. Wow, I'm liking this. And Hannah Montana moment. Wow, I don't look like myself. I love it. I don't need a therapist. I just need wigs and chains. straight as I'm gonna get this wig. I don't feel like Kennedy right now. And you know what? That's exactly what I wanted. Does that look dumb? Well, if you don't look too hard, it kind of looks real. I'm I'm just gonna leave it. I feel more like an e-girl with it, so I am, I'm just gonna leave it. I love this. I don't know. I'm really enjoying this. I feel like I would never dye my hair like this because at the end of the day, it's not really me. But also, what is me, you know? I don't know. The thing is, I've said this many times, but the area that I live in, it just makes me not want to express myself. <laughs> I know you should be like, I don't care what people think, I'm gonna do what I want. But like, I hate being stared at and I already get stared at by creepy men when I'm wearing sweats and a mask. So if I walked outside like this, oh my God, I would fucking have a panic attack. But that's why YouTube gets to see it. <laughs> I'm being choked a little bit. I don't think I'm a fan of being choked. I think I would be the choker. You know what I mean? This is dangerous. ended up on as well. I I am going to sit in this for the rest of the day. This is what I would have looked like if I would have had bangs when I had black hair. I honestly don't hate it. I've said it many times and I'll say it again. I'm not gonna dye my hair black, but black wigs are fun. This video was so much fun. I really had fun filming it. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye!